Good morning guys! As you can see, I'm back in the UK. Um, first ride out and, and I am on the... The Sherman. So um, I'm gonna go for a little ride today. And uh, it's just a, gonna be a little cruise. I wanna see how dry the trails are. Um, they have been saying that we have been having really good weather in the UK. So I'm back from a holiday in Germany and um, I want to just get out a little bit, do a little loop, just just get some miles on the Sherman. And also, I would like to, in this video, talk about um, the new uh, veteran Abrams. Um, I'll post on, uh, put a little picture up here so you can see how the wheel looks like. But... Uh, yeah, just just talk over the wheel and you know talk about the specs and talk about what you guys think about it and what I think about it, and um, if you guys are excited about it, you know it's a, it's a sec second veteran wheel, um, and uh, yeah, you know we are really in a time where there is some awesome stuff coming down the line, and. Uh, I just want to get the stuff, man. It's just like not 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 so much just buy everything, but just sort of really get the wheels out there and 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 get the guys to start riding them, so we can really get some real world feedback on them. Because man, it looks like the guys have just basically stepped up the game about the on these wheels. You know, like in the S20, this uh, Bagode Hero um, that. Uh, the Bagode uh, commander, and then also um, this uh, veteran Abrams. It's just, it's just like, why, why haven't they done this uh, uh, three years ago? <laughs> it's, it's almost like King Song kicked it off with the S18, basically doing something totally different, um, and then in motion with the with the V11, just basically. This is something, this is how we want to do this. And you guys now need to pick up the speed. But yeah, let's, uh, let's uh, start riding a bit of the trails here on the, on the Sherman. And uh, let's talk about these wheels. So come along and I hope you enjoy the ride. taken a new trail and I actually don't I've never been down here super bouncy super bouncy so uh, I need to keep my wits about me but, uh, but yeah it's a whole new area here so I can, why haven't I seen this before <laughs> this is cool excuse the sound there's some uh, there's some mud stuck from my previous ride that's now uh, stuck inside the wheel the wheel arch Ugh. but look at this Okay, guys. Let's uh, let's cover the specs of this uh, veteran Abrams quickly, and uh, we start with the wheel size. The wheel size is 22 inches. Now, uh, this is getting um, this is going to be larger than the Sherman. Uh, the Sherman is 20 inches. 
and oh man this is like super bumpy <laughs> so yeah the Sherman is 20 inches and this uh, Abrams is going to be 22 inches so uh, we're going to have a smoother rolling over bumpy terrain <laughs> let me tell you one thing those with uh, the little bit of a larger size of the wheel now going from 20 from from, from 20 inches to 22 inches yes would make a a difference going over terrain like that but um it's gonna be it's gonna be uh it's not gonna be that much um you know i think i think i still think an 18 inch suspension wheel if you want to ride a rough terrain is is by far the best it's it just creates a lighter uh more agile wheel um compared to the bigger wheels you know if i uh, but then again you know this is this is this is this is specifically to um the environments that 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 i ride you know, if i was looking at uh, spending a whole day on a on a wheel then yes um where it's going to be super flat trails like we've got here this is not really flat as well you know it's like in um there's, there's loads of holes and whatever but if it's but if it's a trail like this where it's smooth gravel then uh, a 22 inch uh, uh tire um a tall heavy wheel with big battery that can do long miles hey man it's a winner it is a winner uh, mountain bike uh, uh tires hasn't gotten smaller it's gotten bigger from the 27.5 inch uh, rims to the 29ers you know this is the bigger one bigger uh, bigger tire um it or bigger rim and tire it creates smoother rolling over everything the only thing is um i think you sacrifice uh, 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 uh agility and then also uh the bigger the wheels get the more heavier they get but then you know it's it's a different tool for a different ride and that's sort of the thing you know a lot of a lot of guys say no no what what wheel would you choose to ride and i must say currently um you know you know i i i this sherman is awesome you know if i want to go to work and back my my uh, 20 mile round trip to work and back the the sherman is by far uh, the machine that eats the miles you get on it doesn't matter if you half a battery or even under half a battery you just get on the thing and go boom and it just knocks out that 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 miles in super comfort i'm doing about what 18 18 miles an hour now and it's just it's just super comfortable it's super comfortable you know i'm just it's no drama but if i want to have a short blast on trails um where it's rough and technical i i really enjoy a lighter wheel a lighter wheel meaning the s8 uh, the s8 the s18 so getting uh, getting getting back to the abrams you know um uh, being a 22 inch wheel it it, it looks like it's definitely going to cater for for the longer distance riders um they're also rated i think at the weight is going to be about uh, 38 kilograms you know it's again you know it's a it's a beefy heavy wheel and again you know if they if they if they make the batteries hang low um the stability on this thing will be awesome um i do like the shape you know it's now not not as boxy but it's like a v and what what the v creates it creates um uh, uh, less area to actually uh get pedal strike or or basically frame strike you know the you know the uh, protection bars around the bottom of the normal sherman is uh, it sticks out where if you shape the wheel in a v then um, you actually lift up and you make the whole body narrow narrower at the bottom it sort of creates about a bit of ooh, <laughs> it creates um less places where it can get stuck on anything 
but I, man, I do l like the design and I do like the look of this thing. It just looks really, really awesome. Um, it, I like the frame as well. The frame looks a little bit more like a, uh, like a Batman uh, style design. You know, it's like in something that Batman would actually ride. Um, I, I, I hope um, the photos that I've seen, um, it looks like they have gone for a road tire. And I hope they keep this, uh, this, this uh, 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 standard of you have an option of a road tire or an off-road tire. And again, you know, if I ever uh, go for that, you know, maybe, maybe upgrade my Sherman um, or, or, you know, I would, I would probably um, go for the off-road tire again. It's just, it just makes sense. I love, the, I love the sound what the tire makes. And, you know, it's just, it's just for me awesome. Yeah, but you know, it is going to be a heavy wheel. It's going to have a big old tire. Um, they say the weatherproofing has been much improved. You know, I, you know, I'm I'm super happy with the weatherproofing on this uh, on my on my Sherman. Um, it looks like the pedals is going to be nice and high. Um, but yeah, yeah, just just it just it just looks like a really nice wheel. Oh, oh yeah, the other thing that I want to mention is that um, that bottom or the or the back frame the protection frame that doubles up as a as a stand you know it's it's such a good idea you know you can you can um, get those uh, shrink wrap tape and put it at the back and you can just lean the thing down but then there's so many options it just looks like a you know for lights and stuff to have a like a bar almost like a mountain bike handlebar or whatever where you can just mount stuff to like lights, the shred lights, um, uh, a seat um, where you can clip, clip, clip it on that onto that tube. Um, you know, if you want to have a GPS system or or anything, anything like that. You know, it's just, it's just, uh, it's just awesome. You know, it's just, it's just awesome that they that they have um, gone with this uh, this cage design. It's for me awesome. Let's go down here. Yeah. This is a nice little route down here. There we go. So yeah, it's it's uh, it's for me that design is just uh, it's just it's just cool. Um, so weatherproofing, tire size, battery, um, you know the the higher uh, pedals, so it's going to be um, sort of uh, more clearance. Um, the other thing as well is uh they say it's going to be a more modular design now for me modular design means this is going to be really easy or easier to actually work on now uh, you know this is what a lot of people has been asking for such a long time is uh let me just get over here Whoop. um is to actually uh have a wheel that is much easier to work on we can clip side panels off well not clip it but unscrew it and uh, the screws are made that you can unscrew it and screw it back in um, without any issues over and over and over compared to uh, screwing into uh, plastic where um, the longevity of that uh, of that screw is not going to last um, so if they can make it modular where e anyone can actually open a wheel and uh, replace the tire a tire or a tube hey man this is this would be king because not always not everyone are super keen to uh, to dig in to dig into a wheel oh. um, not everyone is super keen to dig into a wheel and actually open it up and uh, replace a tire or a tube or whatever um, and that's why most of the guys actually uh, most of the guys actually slime the tires, drop some slime in there, and then uh, that is Bob's uncle. You know, you don't have to worry about uh, getting getting flats. Um, but yeah, so guys, what do you guys think about this veteran, veteran Abrams? Um, do you like the look of it? You know, there's so many other wheels now out. Um, there's the Pagode Hero. Um, that's that 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 we've seen some photos of. Uh, we've also seen the dropping of the new S20. Boom, King Song, massive nice wheel. 
There's also the InMotion um, V12 that's available now, as far as I understand. Um, awesome wheel, 16-inch wheel, lighter wheel. It's got all this, uh, you, know, the, you know, the next step of wheels being more water resistant, uh, just build quality and everything. All the functions, the screen is, is just really, really, really good. Um, and then um, there's also this uh, uh, Bagode uh, Commander that uh, looks like more of a traditional wheel, big old chunky wheel. Um, yeah, can't go wrong, man. I just, I just, I just hope we're going to see these wheels come in, um, and also I hope that they make sure that when they um, sell that, that those those first batches to the clients that 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 is properly checked um, just so we can uh, make sure that everything is is good <laughs> before it goes out to the clients so we can have happy clients and people promoting these things so if there's more promotion on these things um, more people writing it um, hopefully more and more um, governments and stuff will actually adopt it and uh, look at it and say, listen, this is actually a, a perfect way of getting around a town or exploring trails. You know, it's, uh, you know, I've been going around in this forest now for about 30 minutes and uh, I cover such a lot of distance if, if, if I have to compare this to walking. And it's fun. Super fun. So guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed this little short little ride video. And let me just quickly stop. This is super bouncy. And then, you know, oh yeah, oh yeah. The other thing that I want to mention. Um, they said that um, that uh, uh, veteran might decommission, might decommission the, um, the veteran Sherman. Now that will be quite sad because it's a, because it's a really solid wheel. Um, I would I would actually like them to actually take the Sherman and say, okay, what is all the little problems that 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 the people has been uh, complaining about, meaning the BMS and this and that and the other, all these little small little things like more weatherproofing, whatever. It's so easy to actually just make the changes on this wheel um, and 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 keep on s selling the Sherman as the smaller wheel. And then as well, as I said in a previous video as well, to make a sh like a Sherman light. I don't, I don't know, there's, there's probably a tank name that you can think of that's a little bit smaller than a Sherman. And um, just to have that half the range, half the weight. doesn't even have to be a suspension wheel. It can just be half of the Sherman. Um, and then, you know, then they've got a nice range, you know, say a 16 inch or 18 inch, 20 inch, 22 inch wheel, um, big, tra uh, 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 big range, smaller range. Um, it doesn't even have to have suspension. It just needs to be able to, if you know, you look at the guys that jump these wheels and whatever, you need a torque and uh, you, just, you just need durability. That's the key. Um, and the thing is, if you have a, have a lighter wheel that you can jump, Less weight when you hit the trails and whatever is everything is just less stress on the thing. Um, but yeah, man, if they can keep that range, and then when uh, the the suspension wheels are now nicely sorted out, then um, Sherman look at all the pros and cons of all the suspension stuff, and then they say, boom, they there you go, guys, suspension wheel, and they do it properly. You know, it would be nice, you know, to have like um, three or four, well, it's four big, big, big brands then doing suspension wheels and non-suspension wheels. And they start setting the bar higher and higher and higher. You know, look at the S20. You know, they have went from the S18 to the S20. It just looks different. The guy that designed it thought to himself, you know, I want to have something awesome. And he, and he just did it. So, uh, so yeah, I am... <laughs> I can only talk about these things. You know, I would love to ride them and, and give you guys some feedback. And uh, hopefully I can have the opportunity to actually do that. Okay, guys. Enough of the, all this waffle. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope to see you on the next ride. Thanks for watching. And see you on the next one. Cheers.